the painting in the window was actually one of the first ones that I did, um, and I just I I just went, oh man, that's fun, because I got back into the the paint, and I love the fact that um, this little thing looks like a um, um, a lip ring, and oh, yeah. uh, actually it's just a painting mistake, <laughs> <laughs> a happy accident. Anyway, so yeah, I wanted to be really painterly again, uh -huh. and I was tightening up a bit, so. So when she emerged, uh, she emerged. <laughs> so that's the original she. That's the original she. Uh -huh. And the original drawing is the one under the other she. So. Okay, let's go over there. Yeah. Yeah, she she was. The this first, was the first, uh, the first charcoal. charcoal drawing, and unfortunately, thank God you can't tell because it's matted, but it's on really bad paper. <laughs> so I like it that you know, anyway. Because like I say I just picked it up and. Boy, I was surprised at, at how much um, I had missed working in charcoal because uh -huh. I haven't done it for years. And um, yeah, I kind of liked her too. That, yeah. I think I think that's what I like about those two paintings, uh, the painting and the, and the uh -huh. drawing, is they're fresh. I mean, it's not. It, I, I'm not beating a dead horse with these. It's with a brand new pony. Uh -huh. <laughs> so. Why do you call this uh, she again? The uh, title of your show. I, I, I titled it She because I didn't want to be specific about who these women were uh -huh. and um, didn't want to title them uh, because I wanted people to make up their own mind about how, what, what these women are, what they're saying, who, uh -huh. who they are. Uh -huh. And I thought if I got too specific, um, like if I titled them like Diana, um, uh -huh. somebody would um, hate a Diana basically yeah, in their yeah. life and, uh -huh. and have, have a negative reaction to the paintings. Uh, this show came about because of um, I was actually in a bad place with my painting um, last summer, and I was trying to have too much content, too much screaming, you know, political stuff and all that stuff. And so I had a wonderful lunch with Martha Gies, who's a fabulous writer, and she said, "Simplify. You don't have to do everything in, in a painting." And I thought, what more simple actually than two eyes, a nose, and a mouth? And so. Uh, these women, uh, I just started painting them and they came out and the drawings happened after a day of painting um, when I looked down at a table, my work table, and I saw a piece of charcoal and I thought, well, I have not drawn in years. And so um, then, I, then I got really obsessed and went out and bought a whole box of charcoal mm -hmm. and um, anyway, and just had more fun drawing and painting this time than I have in a long time. I just wanted to get back to the do the best paintings I could and do the best drawings I could. And it was, it was really fun. It was a good, a good experience for uh, me to have, just to shake things up in the studio. It was much clothing, no hats, no earrings, no anything like that, because I wanted the essence of these paintings to be the eyes, the eyes and the mouth and the, the nose and the hair. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, it was just it was just a way of, and I have done many, many more. This is, mm -hmm. um, uh, this part. but it's really, really difficult because if you know, since they are such a simple, simple idea, basically, um, okay. it's really hard for. Um, it, it, sometimes they just don't work out, and sometimes um, uh, there are many that that wouldn't talk to me. These are the ones that I thought really spoke to me personally. So uh, what you have in the show is roughly. Uh, two thirds of what you had, or half, or what? Probably two thirds. Two thirds. Sure. Probably two thirds. And I say I've got some at home that I that I do like, but I just you know they, I did so damn many of them that I thought perhaps um, perhaps a little editing might be in order. So. Mm -hmm. Why do you use a lot of uh, dark background? I well, I wanted to avoid backgrounds too, and. Um, there's just something, well actually it's a, kind of a problem for me and a lot of other artists. It's, it's really lush, it really pops the colors when you use a black background. Uh -huh. And it's kind of seductive in a way. And so... And I really, you know, I've always liked the high contrast. Because they were looking at me wrong, and so then you just make them asleep. This one has a little bit of a Conti crayon that I found in the studio, and so I thought maybe a little color wouldn't be too bad. <laughs> Gee, I suppose. Anyway, so... Um, About these two women. 
I don't know who these, I, well, I don't know who these women are at all. Um, I seem to see them a lot now that I've painted them, but... You don't uh, copy it from... Uh... No, I tried, to, I tried to stay away from source material this uh -huh. time, too, because, uh -huh. once again, that's a trap that I can uh -huh. fall into real easy. Uh -huh. And so, um, yeah, I mean, it, it's surprising because as I'm watching TV, I'll see that look or that look. Uh -huh. And um, and so it's, it, you know, I don't know. You know, it, obviously, I'm using something from, well, I look at people a lot, I guess, and... Um, I did notice when I was working on these and as I completed them that these women seemed to be of a certain age, huh. somewhere between 20 and 50. And I was thinking about, I wasn't thinking about it when I was doing them, but I thought about it afterwards and I thought it's, that that is actually the age of which most women are the most interesting. Because huh. in your 20s, uh, you don't know enough, and in your 60s, you don't care anymore. I thought, uh over 50 is when life starts, isn't it? Well, that's, that's well, yeah, it, it starts because you quit caring. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, in that age time is when um, the job, the job, the kids, the husband, the divorces, the, all of the really um, uh, what makes you you basically happens between those ages. And mm -hmm. um, so I, that's, I thought, huh, interesting, because there's not, like I say, there's no old people and there's no young people. But of course, it's all. Have around. you? Uh, so you have, you have not thought of doing an older face? Well, I did this one. <laughs> She's an older woman. That's kind uh -huh. of a self-portrait. Um, anyway, what was interesting? My neighbor came over, who is so forty-five, uh -huh. and she says, "Oh, they're all so young." My uh, step granddaughter came over and said, "Oh, they're all so old." So it's a matter <laughs> of perspective, I guess. I guess if you're sixteen, they're old. If you're forty-five, they look young. So. This painting was the, was the last painting in the series, um, and actually I did, um, I think there are five more of this size, um, but I, they're not, I, I didn't think they were cooked yet. This one was really hard, I had to stop myself from going back in and working on it some more, uh -huh. but I thought, no, you know, it's, it's good, it's just, we'll just leave it <laughs> like she is. And so um, I, may, I may finish up the other, because this is kind of a nice size.